Hi, my name is David Holaska, and I help sell guide books here at the same place where guide is produced. One of my favorite books to uh, sell is Guide's Greatest Angel Stories. I really appreciate having a guardian angel because one of my favorite things to do when I'm not selling guide books is ride my unicycle here. Have you ever wanted to ride a unicycle? Well, I can teach you how right now. First, you want to make sure you're safe. The first thing you need, of course, is a unicycle. You'll need one for about two weeks. So you either need a really good friend who will loan it to you for two weeks straight, or you can go online and buy one. You can get one for about $75 at unicycle.com. What you're going to need when you start is a sturdy place to hold on to. You could use maybe a wall, or a tree or a pole or if you have a handy dandy Mack truck to hang on to you could use that too. Then you want to start with your pedal in the back that you're going to want to start your foot with. So my foot is going to be the right foot and I put it here and when I step down it's going to roll backward and stop and I'm going to have all my weight on the bottom of the pedal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the seat. I'm going to put the pedal in the back. Hang on to my trusty sturdy thing and hang on to the seat. And I'm going to step down. Oh. Oh. And that's probably what's going to happen to you. But what you want to do is you want to get to where you can stand on top of this thing. What you're going to want to do is get to where you can stand on top of this thing. <laughs> It's too high for me to do that. <laughs> Hold on, can I change unicycles? <laughs> Which brings me to another point. You don't want the seat too high, because if you do, you won't be able to get on it. Well, hang on until you have the seat like this, and just kind of get used to sitting there for a while. And when you put weight on that, that wheel will not roll. When you get used to balancing on top of the wheel, then begin to move the pedals until they become parallel side to side. And you want to move the wheel around until you're used to moving the wheel around just a little bit. And then after you're real comfortable sitting on top, and trust me, it'll take a while, then you're ready to go outside and start riding. The fundamental principle of moving is to fall forward and then you pedal like crazy to catch up. When you're turning, it's the same principle, only as you're pedaling along, you want to fall in the direction that you want to go and then you want to swing your hips and pedal like crazy to catch up. You're going to need a stationary object and a friend to start moving. Tell your friend that you're going to be putting a little bit of weight on their shoulder or on their wrist so you can hold on to them but also be pedaling. So you get up with the stationary object, get into place, having your pedals side by side and they're going to walk with you as you start to go. Now go and you're doing it one handed and you're moving get good enough over several hours you should be able to go faster and let go <laughs> and then just ride until you can't ride anymore once you're able to ride pretty well on your unicycle you might want to try out some new terrain come on I'll show you what I mean There are a few differences between a regular road unicycle and a mountain unicycle. First, there's the pedals. The pedals have extra spikes on them, so that'll keep your shoe stuck to the pedal when it gets wet, because a lot of times you might be going through water and your foot will slip off. But because of the spiked pedals, you might want to wear these. These are shin pads, because it would really hurt if the pedal, when you fall off, comes around 
and hits you in the back of the leg. The third thing is a seat. The seat's a little lower, giving me more space to jump and crouch and use my legs to jump. And there's a little handle right here so I can grab the seat when I'm ready to jump. Finally, there's a knobby tire. If you ever get into mud and you want to go up a hill, it's the same principle as a mountain bike. The knobby tire will grip into the mud and you'll be up the hill. Off-road riding is sure a little more challenging than riding on pavement, but it sure is a good way to get your heart pounding. Speaking of heart pounding action, have you read this book? Guide's Greatest Miracle Stories. It may seem like you need a miracle when you're trying to learn how to ride a unicycle, but stick with it and you'll get it in no time. Well, I hope I've wiped your appetite for unicycling. It sure would be nice before you go out to say a little prayer, which reminds me, Guy's Greatest Prayer Stories. It's a great way to learn about prayer and increase your faith.